Hello there, this is Alana Taki, and I wanted to show you some of the features that can be useful to you as you're typing up your discussion board responses. In particular, I wanted to show you for sure how to make hyperlinks, but there's some other stuff in here that's kind of useful too. So let's say I'm typing, you know, um, let's see, helping um, with discussion boards. I'm just making stuff up. I'll probably make this disappear after a while, but that's okay. So I'm typing my response, yada, yada, yada. Very important. So I might want to say, you know, oh no, you need to take Z minus X, um, actually Z minus mu. <laughs> oh, sorry, X minus mu. That's one of our formulas, X minus mu. There's this little insert symbol feature. Now, not every symbol we need is in here, but this one is, which is mu. So I'm going to put that one in, mu. And there he is, close parentheses, divided by, and I don't, sigma, unfortunately, is not in there. Sigma is the population standard deviation. You're going to learn about him in chapter 3, but he is not in this, so you're just going to have to type it. Um, alpha is in here, however. Alpha is this little symbol right here, which is not the same as sigma when we get there. Okay, So there's little symbols. Um, I could take, like, um, that whole value. I could take x minus um, mu... I don't know why I'm so enamored with mu, but I am. Ooh, I notice when it puts the symbol in, it kind of moves the cursor to the left, so I just had to move it to the right. And then I want to click the math editor. Let's see what else I could do. I could create a new equation. Let's try it. I'm going to always run Java. I'm going to type this equation. Ooh, let's see what this says. I'm just going to run it and see what happens. Oh, there's all sorts of good stuff. So I could say, okay, um, this is going to be a chapter you know, Alana, chapter 6, number 2. I'm just making stuff up here. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. All right. Um, actually, the formula I'm going to be putting in here isn't chapter 6 at all, but, you know, hey, what you going to do? So let's click on some of these and see. Oh, it'll do, like, powers. So I could say, like, x squared or something like that, and I could save it and insert. Let's see what happens. Cool. Look, it's right there. Or let's do another one. Um, where is it? Math editor create a new equation and then let's see what we got that's all calculus stuff we're not interested in that that's also pre-calculus and algebra nope. Ooh, fractions that's pretty useful so if I say X minus um, let's see if it's got some symbols in here oh look X minus mu there it is close parentheses Ooh, I bet you it has the parentheses thing too <laughs> okay, so if you take all of that numerator and then put it in that, there, those are like better parentheses. It's not left and right, it's connected. And then I want to divide it by sigma. Sigma is right there, sigma. And I'm going to type title this, um, this is actually z-score number one. There's two z-score formulas, that's one of them. Oops, I made it disappear. I must have typed enter. Let me see if it'll do it. Nope, didn't like it. All right, let's see. I'll have to redo it. So I'll hit the fraction button. And then I want that numerator to have parentheses. Z minus symbol mu. It doesn't have every symbol we need. Like, for example, I'm noticing x bar is not in here. If you wanted x bar, I wonder if we could do it. If I highlighted this, ah, and put a little bar over his head, look at that. Oops, it's x minus x bar. So z is equal to x minus x bar. So it's a little funky, but you could play around in here if you wanted to. Over s for that one. That's z number 2. And then keep, don't press enter, apparently. Click save and insert. And there it is. It's in there. Gorgeous, huh? Okay, so that's the math editor, and you could play around with it a little bit. We don't use too many symbols and stuff in this class, but the, the two things we're going to use a lot, and you might as well make an equation for them. <laughs> so you can say, you know, mu, which is pretty obvious, although mu you can get with the symbol editor. Oh, darn it. See, that's what I did. I closed. Don't do that. Create new equation. Let's type it mu. Insert mu. No problem save okay and it, I think you can edit these if you don't like it yeah so let's say I want to edit this one this one was a bad idea this was x 
squared. I'm going to call it that. I'm going to replace. So that way it's called that because that's really what it is. That would be a better thing than calling it chapter 6. And then the one I really need and pretty much every student needs is sigma. So you can click insert, sigma, and then s click save. And then it's in your list. So if ever you need it, you can just click on it and say insert that in. There it is. Nice, huh? Okay, so then another thing you're going to want to do is to be able to, by the way, if I like highlight and I want to make the yada, 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 bold, italics, I can do all that. I can make it centered instead of on the left. You know, I can tab it over. I mean, all that stuff is possible. You can play around with fonts and stuff. Don't get too crazy, though, because remember, you want to make it stuff that people can actually read. <laughs> so don't make it too small and don't make, you know, the pretty fonts are everybody always likes, you know, oh, they're so pretty. Yeah, but they're, they're much harder to read as a general rule. All right. Now, the thing I really wanted to show you, my, real, my original purpose. Oh, by the way, you can check spelling spell checker, although you can kind of tell what's, you know, and if you right click on one of them, it'll say, you know, here's options for you. All right. Then I want to show you how to make a link. So if I go over here and I copy this, this is called a URL. So I kind of click up here so it's all highlighted and I press control C or you can right click on it and say copy. And then I go back to the discussion board and I don't want to just paste it. I want to click add a link. And then I want to go up here to the text to display. Now you have a choice here. You can copy and paste the whole thing. That'll work, right? It'll be like this. So that way people can see. Matter of fact, it's probably the easiest way, right? And then it's there. And if anybody wants it, they can click on it. It'll open in a new window, blah, blah, blah. Okay. A couple other things. If, you, if you're like, oh, no, I didn't like that. Well, you can kind of click over and press you know, backspace and kind of get rid of it. Or if you want to edit it, if you realize, oh, I accidentally have a period or something, you can right click, you can remove the link. See, it's still there, but it's not active anymore, which I don't really want. So let me go back to add a link. By the way, that's a world, that's a little globe and a chain link, right? So it's, it's, you're linking to the web, get it? <laughs> All right. Okay. So I'm going to click add the link. If I right click and choose properties, you can see that there are options here. Um, so, and I'm not going to get into all of the, the wherewithal, but there's the text, there's the URL, right? I, so I could change it to something like click here, you know, or something like that. And then I currently have it opening in a new window. Um, you can click new window. I think I'm pretty sure this does it as well, the underscore new. And then you can play around with this stuff if you're really interested in it, and I'm not interested in it. So I click OK. There you go. Now it changed to click here instead of that big long thing. Cool. Now there are a couple other things you're going to want to know, which is the add remove business. So if you want to add and remove, you can click files. You can say like, oh, I've got a file on my desktop that I want to insert so everybody can see. Whoop. I can click that. You can see it. There it is. It's a PNG. It's like a, it's like a picture file that I have. And then I can click save and attach another file if I had a second file to attach. Or I can just click attach file. And it should take it a moment, but it'll attach it. Boom. There it is. So it just kind of shows up there. And that way somebody who's looking at it can go, oh, you know, what was Lana talking about? And then I noticed my computer downloaded it. I click on it. There's the graph that I was looking at, which was from another video, in fact. Okay. All right, so that's pretty much all of, I think the special tricks you're going to need in here um, of anything. If you want, you can insert date. You don't have to. If you want to insert time that you wrote it, knock yourself out. <laughs> um, inserting tables. I suppose that's another thing that we will sometimes do. So sometimes you want to say, you know, um, gender, male, female, um, head, 22, 33, and neck injuries. I don't know. I'm just making stuff up. <laughs> 11 and 88, you know, stuff like that. And that allows you to kind of to, to play around with it a little bit. Um, so if you're, you know, putting in some data or putting some stuff in, you can play around with the, the table editor a little bit. Um, it's not a great table editor because it's not really designed to be. Um, notice here, let's go, oh no, there's another gender, I don't know, I can in, right click, insert a column to the left, insert a column to the right, and I can call it puppies, you know, <laughs> I don't know, there we go, and I can bold it, and so on, All right, it's, again, it's not a fabulous editor, it's not like working with Excel or anything, but it'll suffice if you just got to get some, some ideas across, 
okay? And then you can use the tab, there we go. Um, you can insert rows, you can insert columns, you can merge cells, you can get rid of cells, you can play around with your cell properties. I'm going to um, make it so the table properties, let's say I want cell padding right there, cell spacing, do you want the table design, blah, 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 right? Let the background color is white, let's say I want it to be yellow, you know, for whatever reason. There, I made that cell like that. Let's see what happens if I can make it table properties. Oh, goodness. So I highlighted the one cell. I could highlight maybe all of it. Let's see what happens. There's the whole thing highlighted. Um, and as you, as you can see, there's a lot of stuff in here that you can play around with table properties. That's an oak. Oh, I don't know if you caught that. By clicking the down arrow, yeah, I could put it at a table. That's what this top business is. But then there are all these other things like insert a row. Um, sort of another row, delete a row, blah, 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 split your cells, table properties, all right, oops, you got to select a table, I better highlight that table first, all right, table properties. What I'm really looking for in here is um, the playing with uh, borders. Oh, you know what I'm seeing though? Look at that. You can make tables have automatic properties. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Oh, we don't want that yellow stuff anymore, though. I better go back in. Table properties. I mean, if I'm going to do that. Oops. I selected the table. There we go. If I do that, then I don't want any more background anymore. Say OK. So you can see, it's not a great editor. I'm having to really wrestle with it <laughs> to get it to stop doing stuff. And that's OK. But, you know, it's just kind of annoying, but if you're just playing around, but it helps if you want to make things look different, right? Make it so that it's easier to read, easier to see for people, that kind of thing. All right. I hope that helps you figure stuff out and I hope you have some ideas for how to play with um, different ideas in here for um, your properties. I'll look at that. Yeah, that's not a good highlighting though. That's the highlighting that it's only for words. Like if I wanted to make my yada 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 highlighted, I could go here and click like that. Cool. Alrighty. I hope that helps. I'll see you back here for more videos.